A major American city suddenly plunging into darkness. Detroit crippled by a major power outage. Traffic lights going dark. Elevators stuck. Schools in the dark as well. This hallway pitch black. One student actually reading using the light on his cell phone. ABC's Tom Yamas is in Detroit this evening where they're asking serious questions about America's aging infrastructure. Tonight, the city of Detroit recovering from a massive power outage. Just after 10.30 this morning, the lights went out across downtown Detroit, cutting power to 1,400 buildings. Watch as the lights go out during a murder trial, these lawyers left in the dark. Traffic lights out, train stalled, the Detroit Red Wings arena pitch black. Workers evacuating from city buildings. And the computer just said, boom. So it just went out. Some being helped out on stretchers. Detroit public schools sending some children home early as others tried to work by the light of their cell phones. Wayne State University students told us they were scared. It went completely dark, and then the lights were kind of flickering, and everyone was like, what is happening? City officials blame outdated infrastructure for the outage. What you have is a power grid across this city. Uh, that the city has not modernized in decades. Just last year, Detroit losing power for two days. Its troubles, a sign of the growing burden on America's aging electrical infrastructure. The number of significant outages across the country quadrupling in recent years. And we all remember the 2003 blackout in parts of the Midwest and Northeast, leaving nearly 50 million people without power for more than 24 hours. And tonight, downtown Detroit back up and bright again. Power fully restored, but the mayor warning outages like this one could happen again over the next few years until the system is fully modernized.